Constitution. <laughs> uh, I want to talk to you about, uh, or tell you a problem about the structure of almost all grass in a hereditary family. Okay. So, um, actually, I don't want. So I've got F is a hereditary family. That means that if G is an element of F and H is an Hindu subgraph of G, then H is an element of F. Okay. And So, for lots of hereditary families, it's true that almost every graph in the family has a certain kind of certifying partition. Let me give you a couple of examples. Uh, this is a result of Primalin Steger. And um, if you talk about This is a result of Balog and Butterfield. So a string graph is just the intersection graph of strings in a plane. that Janusz and Lenny, Lenny Uditsky and I did last year here. And these are certifying partitions because you can't partition a C4 into a clique and a stable set, so any graph that has this partition is C4 free. You can't partition a C2K plus 1 into K clique, so any graph that has this partition is C2K plus 1 free, and you can't partition a string graph in this way. Uh, sorry, you can't partition a non-string, sorry. Every graph which has a partition like this is a string graph. Okay. And uh, the number of elements in this partition Go, oh, sorry. Uh, 
say. Sorry, no, I want to say it like this. So the number of elements, so if, if, if there's an A plus B equal to T, such that no graph can be cartitioned into A stable, A cliques and B stable sets, then a, one possible certified dish would be that my graph can be partitioned into A cliques and B stable sets. Okay, but it's not always cliques and stable sets, but this is, appears to always be the right number. So here, for example, with string graphs, you're actually partitioning into four sets. Uh, three of which are cliques, and one of which is the disjoint union of, of two cliques. So you've got more choices. But the number of, this appears to be the right number for the partition. So here's a false conjecture. So, um, so what do I mean by part certifying partition? This means that uh, I just have to look inside the partition elements to determine that H is not an Indu subgraph. Whatever edges we put between the partition elements, we still can't get H. Because whenever we partition H into WP and of H pieces, there's one piece which is not an Indu subgraph of the corresponding piece of G. Okay? So, and then this may be true. And uh, Alex Scott and I conjectured it if uh, f is h free for some h. So if you're just forbidding one graph as an Indu subgraph. Okay. So now let me tell you why it's not true in general. It's an example due to uh, Balak Bolyabash and uh, Simonovitz. Okay, and basically what we do Here's, here's a graph H. We have K2S to S, and then we add uh, S edges on one side. So this is a stable. This induces a matching. And there's all edges in between. Okay. 
but we don't forbid H as a subgraph. We forbid H. We don't forbid H as an induced subgraph. We forbid it as a subgraph. Right? That's still a hereditary family. Right? And so. This thing can be partitioned into three stable sets. Okay, you take uh, this one and then just two color that. So the, 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 it turns out the witness, your witness partition number is going to be two. Okay, and uh, your sort of natural candidate for this kind of partition will be a stable set here. And it will be uh, a graph which has no matching of size S here. Right? And if you think about it, that means that you can't get this as a subgraph. Okay? Um, because there's all edges between the pieces. Um, We can't have both, uh, both parts intersecting here. Okay. So we could have one part that intersects. We can't have everything in here because there's no matching of size S here. We need a matching of size S. So we have to use a vertex over here. So one side uses a vertex here. They can't both use a vertex here. So the other side's completely over here. But if the other side's completely over here, it can't be the side with the matching of size S. Okay. So it's got to be the stable set, but then if you think about it, you, you, it just doesn't work. You can figure it out. But here's another structure which, which forbids H as a subgraph, is I say I take something like 2S plus 2 root S vertices, and then I have U and V. And this is stable, and this is stable, and no, and I'll call this S, and no vertex in S, sees more than S minus one vertices. And this is stable too. in U union V. Okay. And that sort of means that you basically can't use S on the side with the matching so that actually it has to appear here, but it can't. So I won't go through the details, but you can check it. But this structure also forbids, and it's not a certificate into two pieces anymore, it's into three pieces where one piece is really small. Okay. And, uh, and it turns out that there are more of these than there are of those. So for, for this hereditary family, the conjecture is false. So I mean, the big question, which I wouldn't expect to do this week, is, is it true for H free graphs? Uh, is it true if we delete uh, a, a bounded number of vertices? Um, it's true. If we delete end of the little of n vertices, end of the one minus epsilon by result of Alan, Balog, Bolyabash, and Morris. But the question we might get some headway with this week is are there other counterexamples? What do other counterexamples look like? Is there an example for H free counterexample? You know? Can we see some, find some other counterexamples and what do they look like? Next. <laughs>